Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> She, uh, she wanted attention. <laughs> she wanted attention, and now she got mad because I picked her up. <laughs> hey! Hello! Welcome in! <laughs> I literally just got off the starting soon screen. Thank you so much for the raid, Celestial Breeze! How was your stream? What were you playing? You were playing Baldur's Gate 3. Nice, nice. What were you uh, up to today in the game? Although I, I, I literally did not even get to <laughs> say hi to anyone before, but hello, uh, we're, we're here, we're here. Uh, it's Tuesday. Uh, Vapor was today's first, Black Cats is today's second. And uh, no one has redeemed third yet, but... Um, <laughs> Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. And Owl. How are you doing, Owl? Maple Moon. Welcome in. Um, and Celestial Breeze. And Vapor again. <laughs> and Celestial. You got, you got, you got third. Congrats. Congrats. I hope you had a good stream. I hope you had a good stream. And Sodot. How you doing? Yeah, welcome in, guys. Uh, we are... Uh, well, if you don't know me, uh, I should probably introduce myself. Uh, my name is Veprikos. You can call me Vep, Vepri, uh, Pia, whatever you want to call me. Um, I'm a Norwegian streamer. I am usually playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, but Tuesdays tend to be shorter stream days for me. And uh, so I figured, you know, t Tuesdays can be days where I play other games because... Uh, uh, it's very difficult for me to stop playing <laughs> if I if I if I stream Baldur's Gate. Um, so uh, today we're going to return to Princess Peach uh, Showtime, which I started playing like two weeks ago or something. Um, I only played it once though, so this is just the the second day. So I figured you know today can be can be a good day to return to that. So uh, that's the plan. That is the plan. I hope you guys had a good weekend as well, because uh, I feel like I haven't seen you guys since... Well, I mean, I haven't, because I haven't streamed since Saturday. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I have not I have not streamed since Saturday. I, I usually stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. So it's been it's been a couple of days. Um, you make your iced coffee and lunch. Oh. I had iced coffee as well. I mean, I usually do. <laughs> iced coffee is the best. It's it's literally the only type of coffee that I drink. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get back to this because this is a very... Even though it's like an easy game, it's like you don't play uh, Nintendo games, like modern Nintendo games at least, because they're challenging you do it because they're cozy and they're they're just they're just a vibe you know you know um you love my shirt colors look pretty thank you also i saw vapor said the same thing yeah it's my tunic shirt with the with the little tunic fox on it i also have the plushie right here <laughs> the tunic plushie i got that that for my birthday last year uh and this t-shirt as well I got them together. I think it was uh, from Panda, both of them. So yeah, yeah. <coughs> hey, Palm! <laughs> How you doing, Palm? The tunic tunic, yeah. I mean, yeah. We can pretend it's, it's a tunic. <laughs> um, It's too easy. We wanted to play for a long time. You should. And... You you play Zelda games, right? So not, or am I misremembering? Because uh, I feel like if you if you like Zelda, you might like Tunic as well. Um, a throne refused to send the ones you got last. I I know it's it's stupid. Throne is stupid, uh, but I'm. <coughs> 
the at least the payout threshold is not as high as it was. You had to have like thirty dollars worth of yeah money in in thrown to get a payout for it, but they they have lowered it now. If I remember correctly, I think they they have. But yeah. Throwing is stupid if you're not in um, like the US or the UK or something. I mean, you can use it in Sweden as well. I think it's because we don't really have Amazon here. So uh, most of it is just payouts. So you have to just buy it your own, uh, buy yourself. So it's the best thing is just to have donations instead of thrown if you live in a country like Norway. But yeah. And I have messaged them. I have, I have, um, I have emailed them about it as well, because they always want to know people's opinion, and they send you uh, emails asking you to like, what can we do to improve and stuff like that. And I always tell them, but they never change. <laughs> You love Zelda. That's what grabbed your interest in Tunic, actually. Mm. I, I recommend it. It's really good. It's really good. I I really enjoyed it. I played it on stream. Um, I don't remember when. Because I got it for my birthday. The year that it came out. Which was... 2022, I think? Yeah, 2022. And I played it later that year Hello? on stream because I got it when I was in the middle of my my playthrough of uh, <laughs> my my first playthrough of Elden Ring because like it came out in March. I remember it came out right before my birthday, and then I got it for my birthday. It was Smug that bought it for me, and then um, and then I waited until I was done with <laughs> Elden Ring, and then I played it. But yeah, yeah. We, we're gonna we're gonna be doing some cozy gaming today. Doing some cozy gaming. I actually didn't have time to um, test uh, whether it works or not. So I ho hopefully it will. <laughs> it should. It should. Um, but I mean, my capture card. Uh, I've ne not had any issues with it, but it's just so typical that stuff can happen when you haven't tried it out. But you know, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. So <clears throat> that means I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing uh, Princess Peach, and we're also currently in the mid in the middle of a um, a new playthrough of Hollow Knight because I'm playing the Pale Court mod. Uh, you don't have to start from the beginning, from what I've heard, um, but it adds like new bosses, new NPCs. Or, you know, it changes a few things, but it's not so much changes in the base game. Or at least that's what I thought. So... Um, when I... When I played last time, which was on Friday, we played for a little bit on Friday. We actually saw the Dung Defender. You could actually talk to the Dung Defender after you had defeated him. And I didn't know that, and that was so cool. I'm like, oh, I'm glad that I started from the beginning then, because... I highly doubt that I would go back to this point if I started a... or went back to an old save that had like 110% completion. Um, so that was pretty cool. So we, we... I think most of the mod stuff, the Pale Court stuff, is like late game. Like a very late game. So it was a surprise to see something fairly early on or like in the middle of the game. Um... Hey, Sarufian, how you doing? Princess Peach, yeah. <laughs> I was lurking in a stream earlier, um, and just as I had the time to sit down and actually... Well, sit down. Um, you raid it out. <laughs> that was so annoying, because I hadn't, I haven't been on my PC all day. Um, only when I had dinner. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> it gives you 2D Zelda vibes, and those are super underrated. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't. I can't say much because I don't really. 
I'm not a Zelda person, really. I've only played Breath of the Wild and, and Tears of the Kingdom. Um, and I never finished either, either of them. <laughs> that doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy them, it's just... They're just too long. Too long for me. And I say that after finishing Baldur's Gate 3 in around 222 hours. Um, <laughs> but it depends, okay? It, it It's just too much for me. It, you get... it, yeah. It's too open to be that. Or like, to be that long, it's too open, I guess. I don't know, maybe. I don't know what... I don't know the reasoning why, but uh, yeah, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Naughty Nintendo and their peaches, yeah, or their peach. It's true. It's true. Eliza Peach pick you generated during the subathon. Wait, I didn't see that. Oh, <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> Don't have to pretend you enjoy them. But I, I did enjoy them. Uh, to a point. And then I got bored. Or I got sick of it. Because the thing is, I'm, I'm too much of a completionist for a game that is that big and kind of empty. So I end up exploring stuff that is like, this was not worth it. <laughs> that's, that's how it was for me, at least. Um... But those are new gen Zeldas and not representative of the other games in the series, really. No, but I I never said that. I just said that th those are the only ones that I played. <laughs> I, I didn't say anything about the old older ones. I have no opinion on the older ones. I've just watched some playthroughs uh, here and there, but not like full playthroughs. Just... Yeah, just a little bit here and there. Um, but that's okay, not every game is for everyone, and that's amazing. To be fair, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are not your favorites either. Uh, well, they were good. I just feel like they were too big. Uh, like, the, the concept was also pretty cool, where you could, like, anything you can see, you can actually, you can actually get there. So, in theory... It's cool, but in practice, not not so much for me, at least. Um, try Wind Waker or something. It's a cool. Well, maybe, maybe. It's like it's kind of like Final Fantasy. I don't have any attachment to those as well, and people really think that I should play them, and it's like, but I don't really feel like it. <laughs> and that's how I am with Zelda games as well. I just, I just, I don't know if it's for me. I, Mm, yeah. But hey, Max Swarlton, how you doing today? How you doing today? Um, did you have- no, wait. Isn't it super late for you now? Let me give you shouty outy. Um, they're too Ubisoft-y. Elden Ring is basically the only real open world game that's worth it. No, The The Witcher 3 is also worth it. <laughs> You can't say that! Elden Ring is, is very good as an open world game, but you can't say that The Witcher 3 is not a good open world game, because it is. If not one of the best. If not the best, in my opinion. But then again, I'm also biased. But as I also like to say, I'm biased for a reason. <laughs> You like focus game with fun puzzles, they're- they feel bloated with stuff, yeah. It is, 1am, mmm. Wait, shouldn't you be sleeping? I mean, I shouldn't- I shouldn't talk because I- I'm usually up at that hour anyway, but... It's not even good stuff, it's just the same boring crap, copy-pasted all over the place, just like... Ubi Games, Elden Ring set a new standard for how to design an open world. Yeah, I love the open world in, in Elden Ring. You haven't played The Witcher 3? Then you can't say that... <laughs> you can't say that Elden Ring is basically the only real open world game that's worth it. If you have... That's... You can't say that then. 
You can say that I've played. Sure, but then it's like that's too general of a statement, you know? Witcher 3 is still the gold standard for RPGs. A lot of games are compared to it. It is one of my absolute favorites for a reason. I I love The Witcher 3. <laughs> I love it. You have no bias whatsoever. <laughs> uh, do you get any sleep? I did. I did. Um, I actually woke up really, really early. For, for me, at least, on a day off. I woke up, like, at around 10. And then I was awake for an hour and a half, almost two hours. And then I fell back asleep again. And then I woke up again. <laughs> I don't know. It was... I was... Mm, yeah, I've been trying to sleep. It's been difficult today. I don't know why. <clears throat> That's also how you are with games like Skyrim and Fallout. They are cool in theory for you, but you prefer playing other games. You love the people that people each have their own preference and choices. Make that more. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a fan of the uh, Bethesda. Uh, Bethesda um, formula i guess i enjoyed skyrim but it's like one of those games where i i enjoyed it once and then uh, but i never feel the need to go back to it ever uh even though i know that so many people have the exact opposite experience where they just they always go back to it but i can't and people say like oh but you should try it modded then because then it will be new like nah, i don't no, it didn't grab me in that sense. Like, I, I loved playing it when everything was fresh because I love playing games like that to explore. Like, I love the open world aspect of it. But once I've done that, if that is the only thing that kind of draws me in, I don't really have any reason to return to it. Uh... So when it comes to other open world games, it's because they have other things to it that makes me want to go back. Like The Witcher 3, I love the characters, I love the story, I love the... The emotional impact it has. Oh, Gobi, thank you for the 69 buds. Thank you for the 69 buds, Gobi. <laughs> um, and with Elden Ring, it's like, that's fun because, uh... Well, it's a beautiful game. And, uh... For the combat and uh, the lore, I mean, Skyrim has cool lore, but it's just you don't have to. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You're just sick of GTA's and Assassin's Creeds and Horizons, tried Zero Dawn, but just. It's just too much shit in it. I played Horizon Zero Dawn for five hours. I couldn't. I couldn't play it anymore. It didn't. It. It's like it's. It's a pretty game, but it just felt off to me, and I can't say why. I don't know why. I can't put my finger on it, but I felt the same way about God of War as well from 2018. I stopped playing that as well after like five hours. <laughs> it just... I don't know why. They they just didn't grab me at all. So I just played them both for one sitting each and then I just abandoned them. And I played both of them when they were brand new. Like I pre-ordered them even because I was excited about it and, and thought this would be probably for me, but it wasn't at all. <laughs> Your statements are uh, statements are always subjective, but people don't know that. Now <laughs> you got some sleep. Thank you. I I did I did. You really really dislike GTA with a passion hotter than burning. <laughs> really so not. Wait, what? That is actually amazing because you love everything. <laughs> It's like, tell me, Soda, what do you hate? I want to know what you hate. Tell me. <laughs> I don't know why. 
<laughs> You're mostly just a fan of the old formula Zeldas. Okay, with the non remake new T D one. T D two D. Two D T D T D D but that's the game, if you like, um, you either love or dislike, they certainly have a formula they follow with mechanics. Uh, could almost call them Bethesda likes, but then again, only Bethesda makes them because no one else wants to make games like that. But I, I don't dislike them. It's just I'm neutral about it. It's just... Yeah, I'm just neutral about it, really. A few Dark Souls 1 gave you everything you wanted from Skyrim in a better package. Did you get far, uh, far in it? No, but you enjoyed what you got to play so much. Mm. <laughs> Dark Souls be best Bethesda G RPG. Mm. Hey, we can get behind that. Horizon Zero fucks given by... <laughs> but how you doing, Gobi? How you doing? It's a PlayStation type of games. They're movies posing as video games. The focus is just to look pretty. Spider-Man Horizon God of War. Yeah, but I, I didn't play them enough to like have an actual opinion on the game itself. I think it was... I also hate the over-the-shoulder view. I, I can't stand it. It makes me... It gives me... Almost... Claustrophobia. It's like, can I zoom out, please? I don't want to be this close to your... Neck. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just, it makes me icky. I don't like it. I wanna... <laughs> I wanted to zoom out. <laughs> There's cultural appropriation too. I've heard that, but I, I don't remember seeing enough of the game myself to know for sure. But I've heard other people say that as well. Horizon had great weapon systems and concept, but it needed to have like a third of the open world distractions going on. Hmm. Palm just likes the old titty sound. <laughs> For you, it's because you can't see the scaffolding uh, game too much. Why did this bad guy jump out? Because the game framework says need action here. Why do we have to collect all these random coins? Because the framework says that we need to. Makes you feel like you're playing a game, not getting lost in a different world, if that makes sense. That makes perfect sense, Gobi. Yeah. If something feels forced because they need to follow some type of formula to... I don't know, seem interesting? I don't know. I, I, I kind of get what you mean, though. You play them, they all feel the same. The cameras, everything is just to make it all look cinematic. You hate the camera in God of War. I'm glad it's not just me. I I can't stand it. <laughs> um, Rise of or Shadow of the Tomb Raider was just walk forward and press X simulator for 30 hours. Mm. I have one of those games, but I don't remember which one. But I haven't played it. I think it was just because it was on sale. You love Dark Souls 1, you're always up for playing, streaming it, or just talking about it. It's a hard game, but if you ever want to try it again, feel free to ask for any pointers. Yeah, that, Dark Souls 1 is is Zerus, by the way. Sarah's favorite game. <laughs> What's wrong with butt cinematic? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, Marty, how you doing? How you doing? It's but to make it all but cinematic. A lot of PlayStation games, when you open the map, you also see a checklist on the right for pointless uh, collectibles masquerading as gameplay just to pad gameplay hours. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, some people could also say the same thing about The Witcher 3 when you get to Skellige and there's uh, so many uh, caches in, in the water. But you don't have to pick those up. They're just there if you want to. <laughs> it's usually not worth um, picking it up anyway. You legit have beef with GTA, but either uh, you're picky when it comes to video games, to be honest. To be honest, you also don't like shooters. You find them boring games with a uh, battle pass systems you don't like for mental health reasons. So yeah, those are some things you don't like. Mm. 
That's fair. I don't really have an opinion on any shooters at all, because most of them are first person and I can't play first person games. <laughs> so I, I I can't really say much. I don't have too too um too much experience with it. You like Tomb Raider 2013, Rise of the Tomb Raider and Shadow of Mordor? They're a good size with semi-open semi world. Mm. I have the first one. Uh, isn't that Shadow of Mordor? I think. Yeah, I have that one. I still haven't played it, though. Zera is your Baldur's Gate 3 character? Yeah, I <laughs> See, my brain goes there when I don't even think about it. That's 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 where I am mentally all day every day. <laughs> Shame about the patent on the Nemesis system in uh, Shadows of Mordor. Every game needs it. Hmm. I've heard about it, but I don't know. Maybe if I played it, I would feel or have an opinion on it. But I'm like I'm I'm okay with it not being there. But it's just because I haven't tried it out. Um. <clears throat> you would love to play Dark Souls 1 again, played it on the PS3, and you know there's a remaster of it. Mm. That's true, but they don't give you a checklist you, you give to give you a feeling of the game being incomplete, and they don't give you an achievement for it. You hate the phrase platinum a game. Yeah. Yeah. I love I love collecting things and and getting achievements. So I love I never use the platinum a game because I don't play on PlayStation, but I do use uh just 100%ing a game. <laughs> I say that a lot because I play on Steam. Um But yeah, if it's I I hate achievements that are unnecessary. Uh I I don't like it. Well, like, a lot of them are unnecessary, but you know what I mean? Like, when it's just tedious to get them, and it doesn't actually feel like an achievement, you know? You have the PS3 version as well, and the PS4 version and the remaster on Steam, and Xbox, yeah. <laughs> Do you have four copies, or is it more than that now, Sarah? Speaking of open world games, fucking Arkham Knight, thanks for playing the game, but you need to collect all... The 500 Riddler tro trophies to unlock the actual ending. Dude, that is that is so shitty. <laughs> Can people stop doing that with games? God damn it. God damn it. Only four, but you wish you could buy more? That makes no sense, you know. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> I feel the same way about Baldur's Gate. Um, but then again, every time I sign up for the email or like the mailing list or whatever no when you get notified when they have the physical copies in stock i always see it like one or two hours too late and then it's already sold out so i never get to buy it and it pisses me off why do people need to buy so much so i i want to buy it too <laughs> let me get my physical copy as well I need it. <laughs> you YouTubed that ending so hard. See, this is where my OCD kicks in. I would I would actually do that. If it was a game that I enjoyed and I had started playing, I would probably do that shit, uh, which is not good, but I would. Um But yeah, so today we're going to be playing uh Princess Peach. I should probably open the game. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm glad the capture card actually worked. Yeah. Of course he comes up now that I, I switched over here. Look at him. Look at this little bean. Look at this little bean. And he's always, like, just outside of the view of the web webcam. 
when I get a new webcam, I'm gonna use the one that I have now as a as a cat cam. I did have an extra webcam, but it, it's I don't know how, but it just broke. It doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work anymore. <laughs> See, it's not a streamer. But it... <laughs> That's true. That's true, Palm. That is true. Let me just turn off the music. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember uh, the controls anymore, but we'll figure it out. Also, let me know about the um, the uh, the volume and everything if it's okay. Thank you for gifting me sub to Sirius. Wait. <laughs> I don't know why, but he cut off. Well, I mean, it usually does if it's like, if it takes a little while to, to start. But thank you so much, Sarah, for gifting a sub. What do you say? What do you say, Sirius? Are you gonna... Wow, he, he just thanked you by just leaving. Rude. You need to make some food stuff, be back in a bit. What are you making? But yeah, go get food. Ah. Ah. Cat hair in my nose. Princess Peach, showtime. Yeah. <laughs> you got potato leftovers, making eggs and... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so last time we 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 figured we finished all the levels in this first floor, and then um, yeah. I'm guessing it's like a boss fight of sorts. So maybe that was a bad place to stop. I don't know. I've been wanting to ask a weird random question, but that's how your brain works. Uh, do you like? Listen to baby metal to you, they kind of sound like J-pop and metal and you were thinking since like K-pop and metal. I, I've heard like maybe two songs. It's not really something that I, from what I've heard, I haven't heard too much though. Um, it's not really something that I've vibed with because it, it doesn't sound at all like K-pop to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know people will probably disagree with that, but it, it also, like, there's a lot of variety when it comes to K-pop as well, so. Not the K-pop that I listen to. Um, so I don't know. But then again, I haven't heard too much, though. Maybe because what I heard wasn't, like, something that made me curious to listen to more. Um... Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen now. <laughs> but yeah, I think it all, it's also like... Those two things mixed... It's a little bit jarring to me. I like them separately, but I, together, it's... it's, it, it's uh, yeah, I don't know. Mm. Oh. We gonna disco now? <laughs> Who be you? How you get through Dark Door? I mean, I went through it. We rewrite stories with Madame Grape. So if you were, if you're here to stop us, and I punish you with Madame Grape's power of Darkle. Darkle? Is that like Dark Sparkle? <laughs> I 
guess so. Disco wing. <laughs> Oh, I see now. Okay, okay. I, I was a little bit slow there. Ow! No! I pressed the wrong button! Yeah, I don't remember the controls at all in this game. There we go. Warming up with a... I mean, it, luckily the game is not difficult, so it's like, it's fine, but... I haven't touched the game since my birthday, so... learning. You started watching a live show on YouTube with Baby Metal? Ow! Uh, not necessarily your thing, but they certainly put on a show that reminded you of the K-pop slice that you've seen here, so we're just wondering. Mm. I haven't really seen any any live stuff from them though, so I can't say anything about that. It's just the music itself that isn't really my my thing. stuff going on right now. to do. There we go. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't die <laughs> with all the hits that I took. Wait, <laughs> huh? Also, do you know how many times uh, Tusta woke me up today? Four times. Yeah. 
The store is back to normal because of you. Yay! Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey. Okay. Uh, we still haven't seen any sparklos though. Sparklos? Sparklos? Uh, I wonder where they went. I'm worried about them. Maybe they evacuated to one of the other floors. Let's go look. Hmm. Look at him. Wait, no, you can't see him. But he's just sitting in between my keyboard and, and my monitor. You can just see him now that I'm like petting him. <laughs> just you see him of some of his fur. <laughs> the only interaction you've had uh, with baby metal was the the feet. Wait, what is what is that? They had with bring me the rise. Oh, oh, I see, I see. And that song made you imagine a uh, do all. Duology novel story. Would love to listen more of them. More to more. Listen to more of them. Jesus Christ, I can't read. Um. Wait, what do you mean fifteen or four? Wait, what are you what are you saying, Sodan? Wait, Feet touring, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's just, I've never heard anyone say it like that, so I was like... You know, so I needed to, I needed to think a little bit. I needed to think, and you know, that can be dangerous sometimes. Rehearsals for the Sword Fighter play are happening here. Apologies for the initial delay. Take out as many enemies as you can. The rehearsal will end if you take any damage. We have wonderful rewards prepared based on your performance. Now show us your very best. Oh, you asked how many- Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> See, I don't- I don't remember what I say. Most of the time, I don't remember what I say. <clears throat> the baby metal sounds like it could easily fall between two chairs, not appealing to J-pop fans or metal fans, but they seem to be doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah. But as I said, I don't. I just haven't listened to them enough to have an actual opinion on it. Hmm. I want to go downstairs here now. This is the theater's basement, but it feels something. <laughs> hmm. So I'm I'm gonna Assume that I'm not supposed to be here now? Or something. Do I have to say Mario in this one? That would be interesting. I don't- I don't- I don't think so. But who knows. Who knows? Mm. The perfect infiltration. Let's do it. Showtime. But what are you um are you are you planning on playing some more uh Baldur's Gate 3 later today, Sarah? Or was that just yesterday? Because you're getting so close to the end. 
kind of figured it would be a perfect mix of both. You were just surprised it even happened, to be honest. Hmm. Oh, look at all the weird posters. Wonder what that's all about. Let's look. Uh, let's look around. Uh, you just finished an anime today, which had trans character without making a big deal of it, and a pretty average-looking main character. Speaking of gender roles or something, you don't know. Your brain is tired. Which one? Money. They even brought baby metal to the stage when they toured in Japan. I feel that. Especially if they have, like, only Japanese titles. But even then, even if it has an in English title, sometimes I can't uh, remember the names because they're, like, there's so many similar names. I think it was, like, To Your Eternity, for example. That one I could never remember the name of for some reason. I don't know why. Now I can remember it for some reason, but <laughs> but when I needed to remember it, I couldn't. Hmm. I have a feeling that there is something hidden here. Skipping low for oh, I see, I see, I see. I've heard a lot of uh, a lot of stuff about that. A lot of good things. <clears throat> Apparently, it was one of the most popular animes last year. It was even nominated for. Uh, some awards as well. As in, like, it was one of the most popular slice of life animes. Maybe after Bocce. Yeah, I've seen the characters, what they look like and everything. God damn it, what, what am I supposed to do with these? I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. Ah, oh, I see, I see. I, see, I, 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 I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Imagine reading. Couldn't be me. You managed to slip past those guards, huh? those kind of skills, then perhaps. Follow me, will you? I can try. This way. This is the uh, spot. Got a good feeling about you. Yep, you should be the right one for the job. Uh, sorry about the rant, you're just, like, talking about the animes you watch with a fellow anime fan, and you're gonna play more- 
It's not self-promo, I asked you. What do you mean? But also, don't apologize for ranting about it. I also asked you about that. I would love to have played more uh, Baldur's Gate 3, but I, I just know that when I need to get up early tomorrow, I, I can't play Baldur's Gate 3 on, on Tuesdays. <laughs> I can't play that on Tuesdays because I will never be able to get out of... Uh, well, get to bed in time. But just like now, it's like if my streams are shorter, it's like I feel like people would would have to ask, "Is everything okay?" <laughs> it's like, do not enjoy the game. It's not how it is. It's just, it it's not fair to compare games to Baldur's K3 at this point. <laughs> it's not saying anything about other games. It's just, it's just saying very much about Baldur's K3, and that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Baldur's Gate 3 is dangerous. It is, it is. But yeah, like, I I love that when people also talk to talk about anime in the Discord as well, like, that is what I usually tend to like to talk about the most. Uh, <laughs> so I enjoy it. I, I enjoy it. But it's just, when I haven't watched it, I just, like, I don't have anything to contribute with. Which reminds me, I also need to catch up on, on Dungeon Meshi because I haven't caught up with that at all and the season is over now, so... Should be able to binge that, and it's on Netflix as well. Yeah. Oh! They have a grapple now. You need to infiltrate their building, we'll be supporting you along the way. Um, <clears throat> you only have a few things left to figure out, like how to find Well's stupid dragon and free Orpheus, but you're a bit stumped. Hopefully you'll figure it out. Hmm. You'll figure it out, yeah. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention at all. <laughs> uh, oh! That's what I was supposed to do. Ow! Oh! I wasn't paying attention to the light either. I want to go back up. What do you mean? Hey, Chris, how you doing? I feel like I haven't seen you in 50 years. Oh, so I can go back up. Or, well... There's no point. It's been 84 years it has. <laughs> it's gone pretty good though. It's gone pretty good. Have you had time to play this now, Chris? I assume that Lauren is, is done playing the game. You're doing all good. Hope you managed to get some good rest. Well, good is debatable, but some rest I did get. 
Ah! I didn't see where I was. Uh, am I supposed to do something with these, or am I just gonna move on? Okay. <coughs> But yeah, when, um, what was it that was? Oh, we're getting an ad as well. We're getting an ad any second now. Mm. I haven't played it yet. Lauren hasn't finished it either. I think she's just been going back and replaying levels for the collectibles. Hmm. Yeah, I want to do that too. I don't want to do it on stream though, because that's probably super boring, but. Um. It hurts to leave them behind. <laughs> but it helps. It actually helps that Nintendo doesn't have an achievement system. Because then I don't feel the the need. Like, the... the I don't get OCD over not doing everything. Like, completing everything. So it's like... It makes me want to play less with my Switch. But it also puts some pressure off. Uh, playing games on Switch. <laughs> Leave no level one on on one hundred percented. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, you went to Worms Rock last time, didn't you, Sarah? That's where you stopped. And then you don't... How have you? How many companion quests do you have left then? Is it only Will and... I don't know anything about Lazel's quest. But you've f finished everyone else's, I think. You know, there would be a Chivo for getting all the gem things too. Yep, yep. And I'm so glad that it's not an actual thing, but it's also like... It would make me want to use my Switch a lot more if games had achievements there as well. Because I have I have games that are like both on Steam and Switch. So when I have the option to use Steam, I will go with Steam, you know? So I only play exclusive games on Nintendo, I feel like. Because because they don't have an achievement system. <laughs> Will Slazel, Gale, you guess? You don't know enough about Gale, you feel? Hmm. Wait, you didn't didn't you do the whole Mistra thing? Or was it was it Was it only sorcery sundries you did? Hmm. You're the same. Absolutely love achievement hunting. Nice to show off that you've done all the things. <laughs> I don't know. It just it, it gives me some sort of serotonin just seeing when an achievement pops up on screen when you do something, especially if you didn't know that it was an achievement as well, and when it actually feels like an achievement, not just some silly stuff they they throw in there but you know i don't really judge achievements i love them either way <laughs> uh. hey barry how you doing barry nintendo tried achievements you think for the wii u they should bring it back for the switch too they should they should but i hope you're doing well i just i just love achievements i do i do Uh, 
It's just this this vent is very sus. <clears throat> Easy. Easy. <gasps> no, that's that's a Starian's line. <laughs> Same, taking a break before you try to 100% Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Spent over 100 hours on your first playthrough and got burnt out. Mm. Ah! Ah! No. Rude. Um, don't vent, they'll catch you and fire you into space. <laughs> you would fear Nintendo achievements, because you imagine Nintendo doing the weirdest things ever. Like, they, there's already 900. But that would be so- like, that would actually make me want to finish Breath of the Wild. It's so weird, because like, that's literally- the reason why I didn't feel, well, not the only reason, but it was one of the main reasons why it was so difficult for me to finish those games. Because I, I've always been terrible at uh, finishing games. I've been gaming my entire life, but I had a, a huge issue completing games growing up. I, I rarely finished any games. And it wasn't until I... Until achievements were a thing that I actually... That I actually uh, started completing games. A friend of yours streamed getting all 900 corks in Breath of the Wild. He might be a bit too fond of the game. <laughs> uh, was that Gerda? Imagine how good that achievement noise popping when you had collected 900 though. Exactly! Like, I would actually love that. I even tried to collect all the Koroks that I could find. Hey. Ow! Uh, Ah, oh, I see. I think. Oh! Oh! I didn't know I could go up here. I see, I see. <clears throat> Gerda. Mm. He's the only one I know who plays a lot of uh, Zelda <laughs> that we both know of. You did it. You got all the jewels back. Now it's time to make you escape. Oh no, I hate chase scenes. You know, you know I hate that. Well, not that this was very challenging, <laughs> but... You started playing games yourself in middle school and didn't get to finish most of them because you didn't want them to end. Oh, that wasn't my issue. <laughs> they just couldn't hold my attention for long enough. Um, also, if they were too difficult or they made me scared. Like, I was afraid of Bowser as a kid. Uh, 
when I played the game. So I had to I had to have a a friend of mine beat Bowser for me <laughs> so I could continue because I was scared of Bowser. <laughs> That's pure love for the game. You don't even get the 100 skull chillers in Ocarina of Time, and it's literally your favorite game. Hmm. Oh shit! I well, I didn't know you were gonna be there. Oh. To the moon! Or at least past the moon. <laughs> yes! He's okay! Thank you! You're welcome! I, I don't know how I missed four of them. Like, how did that happen? <laughs> to be fair, though, I wasn't paying too close attention. Uh, I don't think, but. But yeah, if if they they had achievements, I would probably actually be able to finish uh, Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. But now I've also seen how the games end. It wasn't until like this year, or like towards the end of last year, that I actually saw the end of Breath of the Wild <laughs> because I was like I avoided seeing it because I was like one day I'm gonna finish it too but then I just gave up like no nah, probably I probably won't <laughs> probably won't Let's go. I got like halfway through the game I got two of the four divine beasts no I think I actually got the third one as well because I, I started playing, or I picked it up again, right before Tears of the Kingdom. So I actually got the third as well. Oh. Why is that? Oh no, we're being haunted. <clears throat> oh no. What is that? I like how they just call her Sword Fighter. You've been the same with uh, Tears of the Kingdom. You've been avoiding anything of the game, but you want to finish it. But it's been almost a year. <laughs> to me, it was just... It wasn't different enough from Breath of the Wild for me to be motivated. Because it's like... As I mentioned earlier, uh, the, what, what I enjoy about those games is that it's open world. But then the world was just the same, with a few differences. Because it's all Hyrule. And it's only... It can only be so different from the previous game. And I just lost all motivation to finish it. <laughs> Why would you avoid the game, but... Hmm. Hi there. Hmm. I don't know what he wants. You just don't want to. Shut up.
Oh. He must be boycotting Stellar Blade. Wait, what is Stellar Blade? Victory. Had the same cri criticism they did at uh, the depth, though. Yeah, I, I, I spent most of of the time in the depths. I'm not even kidding, and people hated it. Like, most people seem to hate the depths, but I was like, that was where I spent most of my time playing the game. No, I was done! Aw, oh, damn. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. But the sky was so empty for how much the they made a deal out of it. Hmm. Stella Blade, uh, Blade, aka Butt Jiggle Physics, on uh, the video game. I never even heard of that game. That Korean game, but isn't that all Korean games? <laughs> have you played Black Desert? They, they also have not just butts. Um, they have Jiggle Physics uh, for everything. Looks like a fun game, but it's a bit much. Mmm. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's not that comparable. Because it's not it's not that bad. They do have jiggle physics as well. <laughs> nah, what are you doing at, at myself? How dare! For you was the depths and caves. Mm, same. It's PS5 only, you think? Oh, okay, okay. Jiggle physics and wet graphics, classic Korean games. <laughs> While the wet... It's just... That's just how their skin routine is, you know? Because uh, having that glass, porcelain type of skin texture. The jiggle physics is, is is a whole different thing. <laughs> Don't send me flying. Oh, I missed one. Ow. But I want to go down there. What do you mean? Hmm. <laughs> but Korean games. I don't know. I haven't played too many, but I, it's just something about. Korean MMOs that kind of just speaks to me in a way. I got into Korean MMOs before I got into K-pop. <laughs> just, just saying. Ow! Rude! <coughs> Many. I keep missing so many. See, this is why I can't do collecting like collectible stuff on stream. I don't have the the brain capacity to to do both.
Well, yeah, it would be easier if I sat still, but you know, I could say the same about you. Ow! Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. I meant to jump, but then I pressed the wrong button. Oh, that's what I was doing. Yeah, I forgot all the controls. Jump! See, I keep mixing up A and B all the time. Well, not that it mattered this time, but... know how I do the different versions of the the counter attack it just seems kind of random <laughs> I'm sure it isn't but to me it seems random I didn't even get half. Oh, uh, that's embarrassing. What's that? Thank you very much. I'm not paying too close an, uh, attention to figure out all the um, hidden stuff. <clears throat> I think it would all, was also because I, I exited that one hidden room before I was done. And I didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Okay, now he's quiet because he, he, I think he fell asleep. That's good. <laughs> Thank you, even though we didn't find the, sh the sword fighter sparkler, the place seems to be back to normal. Indeed, indeed. Okay. Whoa, that belonged to the sword fighter Sparkler. I've heard Sparkler's spirit is given to actors and trusted with starring roles. This is amazing, Peach. It means you've been recognized as having a sword fighter spirit. Can anyone hear me? I can hear someone. Sounds like he's coming from the basement. Let's go check there. Oh, now we can go to, to the basement. Well, I mean, we could before as well, but it didn't actually do anything. W what are you doing, Palm? Are you just, you can only pin one message at a time.
Who this? Mm. Mm. How strange. There wasn't anything like this in the basement before. <laughs> oh, I bet we can see things we couldn't before because you've been entrusted with the sword fighter spirit. Anyone? Can anyone hear me? <gasps> it's coming from there. All right, let's get in there. Mm-hmm. That's what she says. <laughs> Alexa, Google Princess Korean Peach Deagle Fist. No, no, Palm, don't do that. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. The loading screen on this game is so choppy and weird. I don't know why it does that. What's this? The stage set is so bizarre now. It's not like the one of our place at all. Yeah. Mm. Peach, let's be careful as we continue. Well, at least it's easier to find them here. <laughs> suitcase. Someone, please. Okay, so these were pretty easy to find. It's the sword fighter sparkler. Don't worry, we're here to help. Maybe she's possessed. The outfit. Who are you? And is that Stella? It is. It is. Be careful, this place is... Haunted. In the name of Madam Grape, I will defeat you. I think I jump, but then I press the wrong button. I 
will never get used to it. I think we did it. <clears throat> Is that something that the people should be clicking on? Is that... Surprise attack? Hmm. Team to work. Like that. <laughs> hey, it's the first level that I actually got everything from. <laughs> Um, everything from Bing is safe for work. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, why are you laughing? <laughs> Chris, why are you laughing? Hold on, I need to, I need to see this. Wet finish. <laughs> what is this? Um, uh, Bing is not safe, not even for work. Hmm. That's... so weird, Mom. <laughs> that is so weird. Um... <clears throat> who would have thought they'd imprison the sparklers on their own stages? I'm certain this means we can... Jesus Christ, he... Okay, he just pisses me off now. Hold on. Oh, there we go. He just uh, starts. I wouldn't say attacking, but he starts uh, picking on to start uh, to get attention. It's the chair. Yeah, it is the chair. <laughs> Uh, I'm certain this means we can save the rest of the sparklers by restoring their place. <sighs> Thank you both for saving me. They robbed me of my powers and trapped me. Those fiends. Huh? Now I'll resume my role of protecting others. Allow me to express my gratitude once more. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> no, he, he just... It's uh, it's his toxic trait, I guess you can say. <clears throat> Let's head back to the second floor. Hmm. The dress is neat. Mm. You can change the the different patterns and stuff. And that was the one that I like best. I mean, I haven't checked. Maybe they have some more now. Maybe they have some more. Let's see. This one is new. 
We got this one after the boss fight, I'm guessing. Yeah, I like this one best. Uh... Nah, you're gonna stay green. <laughs> Just snaily. Oh no. Do I want to see? What? Sneal. Sneal cream, by the way. <laughs> no, it's just very frustrating because um, Sirius he just takes it out on Tusta when when he gets frustrated over the weather, like if it's if it's raining outside or if it's snowing and he wants to go outside but then he doesn't want to because of the weather and then it's like he just expects me to fix it and if I don't then he will attack my other cat and then it's just... it just really, really gets on my nerves because there's nothing I can do about it. So I just have very little patience when he gets uh, like that. It's how she stays young, snail cream. Mm. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about it. Showtime. That's why I get very... Um, get meltdown meltdowns very easily, especially during winter time. Because when there's... Because it's very... It gives me sensory overload. <laughs> and then I don't know what to do. Because I'm just stuck with uh, with that. Each time. Everyone here looks scared. Mm. But why? The detective here always solves mysteries and keeps people something. Maybe one day you shall gain the power to control the weather, but not today. That would be nice. I wouldn't mind that. No. Oh. I didn't mean to go here, but... Oh. Got the bow. Orange silly cat uh, called Sirius, frustrated over the rain. Norwegian cat just wants to be dry. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Wait, it just it makes me feel bad because it's just I don't I don't want to be annoyed at my cats, but it's just sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes it just get uh, get on your nerves, you know? Yay! Yay! The Gromp? <laughs> gotta teach them that's not okay to do. I, I have tried. It doesn't work. It doesn't help. And I've tried to do it the other way around where I don't give him attention because it gives that's what he wants. Still doesn't work. There's absolutely nothing I can do that will help. Museum is closed today. This is urgent. There's been a threat. I'll be taking point. What? Okay, okay. I can't. I can't read. <laughs> I can't read fast enough. 
Um, hey, Sparky Kitty Cat, how you doing? Cats can be jerks just because it's a Tuesday. <laughs> Sometimes things make us piss and annoyed, even things that we love. Mm. Yeah, Tuesday is is the we it's it's like a, a thing where Tuesday is just the, the worst day of the week. Some people say, but that's Monday. No, no, it's Tuesday. <laughs> it's Tuesday. got three cats and they give you constant how dare you go out go out to work look mm. yeah I have to say now that there, there was a winter and snow I actually oh oh wait I, I got the right one first I didn't even look at what a <laughs> I got the, the first one right without, without even trying Um, but yeah, now that we had a lot of snow and stuff this winter, I was actually relieved to get to work so I could get a break from my cats. I'm not even kidding. And just thinking that way makes me feel really bad. <laughs> because it wasn't- it didn't used to be like, like that. I don't know what changed. Maybe it's just when they get older. Maybe they've just gotten more temperamental and, and moody and stuff with age. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. On the case. I was gonna say Princess Peach is on the case. <laughs> she literally said on the case. Monday shall forever be marked as Mau Mau Mondays can do wrong for- Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. It's only because it starts with an M though, because it usually aired on Saturdays. <laughs> Wait, where did the junior detective go? Oh, there's a note on the floor. Let's see here. If you're a true detective, you'll find me. Junior. All three of yours are 15, almost 16 years old, and they're just getting grumpy now. Yeah, it is It is frustrating. My my cats are now... Tusta, she will be 15 in less than a month. And then Sirius will be 13. So they're getting... Ah, I see the little nose. <laughs> Those are some fluffy cushions. Strike of intuition. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> Why is Peach slaying with it? I know, right? The outfits certainly look really good. Amazing. I think it's past you, detective. You really can detect things with your strike of intuition. Ah. Oh, come on. A mystery awaits us. Let's go. I guess. <gasps> There's a chest. A treasure chest. Let's open it. Money. Hold B to investigate and release B in front of suspicious objects to uh, look them over closely. <gasps> Ooh. Uh. Huh? All of these documents are about solved cases. I shouldn't read them without permission. I disagree. I'm nosy. Uh -huh. 
Be careful, Peach. You lose hearts if you guess wrong with your strike of intuition. But since we're practicing in this office, you won't lose hearts if you guess wrong here. Now that's a lot of mystery novels. I see, I see. <coughs> Pop off, not quite a queen. <laughs> see, you just never using the range. Uh, that's cute, Palm. <laughs> that's cute. I said Lee threatened Sears with a hairdryer because Bing didn't know you wanted Sears to hold it. No! That... <laughs> uh. You think you like this chapter? It's cute. Mm. It is cute. Oh, it's the detective. Please go inside. Thank you. Detective, you came. And you're just in time. The curator is waiting in the room next door. Everything is locked down now. It's a shellfish, a shellfish, by the way, shellfish fossil that was discovered nearby. This area was submerged in water long ago. They locked up the museum, and now I can't go home. Well, that's too bad. It's a stone slate carved with ancient text. Maybe the oldest example of the written word. Could be, could be. That officer won't let anyone leave. I wonder what's going on. Who knows? It's a relief, uh of a sparkle gem. It seems they were valued by important people in the past, too. Uh... Am I not supposed to be able to interact with that? <clears throat> it's a fractured stone slab. They're restoring it by, bit by bit in order to make it legible. Uh, you're gonna do a lurky lurk while you read for a bit? Do it, do it. What are you reading? I'm just a staff member. If you're looking for information, you should talk to the curator. <laughs> Apparently the characters on this hanging scroll can only be understood by a ninja. Hey, I've been a ninja. In game. I was hoping to see the mummies in the back room. I hope they open up soon. The mummies are calling me. <laughs> I don't think that's a good thing. If a mummy starts calling you, I think you should uh, not pick up. I've got this place under tight surveillance. Nothing escapes my notice. Nothing. Y you sure about that? We should talk to the curator first. Interviews are the foundation of a good investigation. Everything's locked down. I even made sure to tighten the latch on that window over there. Good for you. Detective, you're here. Thank goodness. You see, a threatening note has been placed on the The, the Poda mural. It reads, We're coming for the The Poda mural. Consider yourselves warned. If something were to happen to our mural... Oh no. <gasps> What's this? A power outage. Oh no. Oh no. The mural, it's gone. <laughs> Please, you have to track down the culprits. There's something written on the wall where the mural was hanging before. It says, we've taken the Thipota mural. Sour gang. <laughs> there do be some sour people. 
Uh, you rereading the fault in our stars took it out to send the picture that one time and the other day you just grabbed it when going out? Mmm. I see, I see. I actually have read that book too. And then I watched the movie afterwards. I cried. With <laughs> I cried at both of them. <laughs> uh. It was stolen the instant things went dark. How maddening. I'm super scared of the dark. I was clinging to that officer over there during the entire outage. The damage makes it impossible to be sure, but this is believed to be a diagram of some ruins. This might be something, because it's uh, shaped like one of the stars... <clears throat> okay, never mind. I thought maybe it would be like a hidden thing that will lead me to one of those collectibles. No one passed through this door during the outage. But that staff member grabbed onto me, so I couldn't have moved if I wanted to. It was your true introduction to reading? Wait, really? Then the movie came out and you cried. <laughs> I, I, I cried because... Uh, my dad was sick at the time, so it hit, a, it hit a little bit too close to home when I was reading and watching it. Hmm. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Please wait just a bit longer. It was so dark and I couldn't see well, but I felt someone brush past me as they went into the room to the left. Hmm. A power outage was unsettling. I hope mummies are okay. Okay. We're terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Wait, I, I talked to him. I just want to go home. The slate tilted now? I could swear it wasn't like that before the outage. Okay, I'm guessing this is it, then. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Damn. We missed one. How did we miss one? An air duct. Maybe the culprits used this. Let's see what's inside. Wait. Indeed. There is something. to find it before I move on. Sears went on and the rain got me some snail cream. He actually did go out. <laughs> that is so random. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that is hilarious. It's a locked window. Interesting. <laughs> I know that there is one. There should be one here. Never mind. Let's move on. <laughs> display case is broken. Ah. The items on display here uh, were the fandangled mask of disguise. It says wearing one of these ma masks allow its wearer to alter their appearance. Huh. 
Of course, the culprits must be using these masks to disguise themselves. That would make sense. That would make sense. Wait, hold on. I just I just opened up Sarah's stream and I saw that I had a um um uh, a sub anniversary so I just posted it. <laughs> um They're the police. Yeah. Hey clever. Hey clever. How you doing? <laughs> Uh, in that time, you had only read a single book, and you were talking to a friend, and you mentioned it in passing, and she got really excited because she didn't knew, know you read and sent you the definitely legal PDF of The Fault in Our Stars. You finished it in the middle of the night and cried until you fell asleep. <laughs> then that same night, another friend was staying over, and he woke up crying because you told him to watch Planet, and he was crying as well. <laughs> then you cried because you remember the book. And you cried. <laughs> <coughs> A lot of crying. <laughs> A lot of crying. <laughs> Sears is getting uh, snail cream. <laughs> but work! I hope it goes well, though. Not too bad. Stop stream sniping. I'm not stream sniping. <laughs> I don't know what, what he said. <laughs> but hey, Ender, how you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> it's quiet, but the day is gray again. Oh, here too. Here as well. It is uh, very rainy and... and <clears throat> You're going to get some uh, work done while watching me stream. Oh, I appreciate that. A treasure chest. Let's open it. Let's... Need some sunshine. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of neutral about it as long as we don't get snow. It's a spade ski. Maybe you can find a use for it. Maybe. As long as it's not snowing. We got snow last week, but then... And I was like, oh, I hope it melts away before I have to go to work on Monday. And it did. <laughs> I'm certain those fiends are in here somewhere. Surely the culprits are in disguise. Let's collect cl clues and find them. On it. Let's, let's get the key. Oh, it's a diamond key. Maybe we can find use for it. Why do I... <coughs> Every time I see O, I feel like it's it's like in my head, the, the sentence is, Oh shit, it's a diamond key. <laughs> I don't know why. Not like that would happen in a Nintendo game, but... Hmm. It's the nose of truth, it says. Anyone who smells of deceit will meet a terrible end. Ah. My popcorn! I miss popcorn. When the lights went out, someone stole my popcorn. The nerve. I would be upset about that, too. One of my precious cameras I sell here is missing. 
It was right here before the power went out. Hmm. Everything is in order. <laughs> I didn't I didn't gasp and choke all my spit now, Palm. I coughed. Wait, did I? Ch I, I do it so often that I don't even notice anymore. <clears throat> I can't believe it's happened ten times, and that's only when it's actually been used. That's wild. door is secure. No one has come or gone through here. Okay. <gasps> popcorn. Is this popcorn? I wonder if someone dropped it. <laughs> hmm. I see, I see. No, 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 no. Stop it. <gasps> Statues of two great playwrights. Apparently, they watched a play together over a single bag of popcorn. You see that statue with the sunglasses? That one's the real deal. Why is there a new statue? There were only two before. have to say they did mention something about a um, a mask I mean nothing out of the ordinary here okay fine be that way there's some strange sounds coming from this room could it be a ghost could it be a ghost Also, yesterday we got new uh, monitors at work. I'm I'm having a positive influence on my office because um, before I started working there, they all just used their laptops and only one monitor. <laughs> and then I started working there, and uh, I needed an extra monitor to not like sit bent down like this, just watching my screen like this looking down because it's not good for my neck and shoulders um it will just give me more migraines and stuff so i was like um and i i don't understand how they can uh cannot have an extra monitor and it's it, because it's not good for you it's not good for you um so now uh <laughs> we all have two monitors each and a new keyboard that is like an external keyboard because we all use laptops, so we have uh, we have all of that, and uh, I'm I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> Dual monitors is nice. Mm. The monitor of monitors, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it was just so so nice because. I don't know. It, it feels nice when when you can actually contribute with something, and people can can see that it's that you were right. <laughs> Some people genuinely don't understand the dual monitors idea. It seems can tell how many times you tried to convince people that 
two is better than one. Yeah, but it's also like because we we all use uh, work laptops, so they just like I guess they they weren't used to having an extra one because it's not like a a stationary thing, you know. So they had to take it with them anyway after work, like their laptops and stuff. So I assume they just thought it was easier to not have a whole setup. Um, but when you have also like your, your monitor and your your keyboard in one, like you do with a with a a laptop, you can't even raise the 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 monitor because then you will have like your keyboard here. You know, you can't. You it, yeah, it, it doesn't work. I don't know why they couldn't figure that out on their own, that it's just not, it's not healthy. It's not healthy to sit and work like that for like eight hours a, uh, a day. There are times of the day you can turn one off and just use the big, uh, the one big one if you're down to emails or something, and that's, that's nice. Free from the grip of having to compare things. <laughs> Hmm. I, I wait, but why? Why is why is it better to have one than than two? You just use your laptop as a computer. You got a mouse, a second screen, and a Mac keyboard all connected. So like just a PC, but small. Hmm. For you or in general. Yeah, for, for you, I mean. <clears throat> mm. I wonder if there's anything else to look at here. I guess not. Oh. I didn't even need that. <laughs> I didn't even need that. A treasure chest. Let's do it. A model of a bur burial site for an important person. There is said to be power in the pyramid shape. Before it got dark, there was an officer in here. Where did they go? Hmm. I guess they went here. This keyhole. I bet the diamonds key uh, we picked up earlier will fit. Hmm. Thank you for getting me out of here. Uh, there. I may not look it, but I'm actually an officer. Someone attacked me, stole my uniform, and locked me in there. It was all black after that. Hmm. Usually you're comparing documents or moving info from one format into another. So for that, the two screens is nice. So you guess when you hit the part of the day that you can use just one, it means you're in the realm of less demanding stuff. And it's nice to power it off too because they raised your electricity and now it stresses you out. You just like to turn off if you can't. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I mean, that makes sense. Ah, makes sense. Oh, we can do that here as well. Yes. one of the culprits, but he... Huh? Well, then maybe it's you. <laughs> I'm not paying close enough attention to actually... Okay, there we go. 
So it was their clothes and camera that gave them away. Nice work. There's one more thief in remaining, but I'm sure you'll be able to catch them. Of course. Mm -mm. This is how you set up your work. Uh, one, you keep it closed and I'll have all the stuff plugged in. You think you've only been able to unplug and sit outside once? Hmm. Yeah, I was also thinking that I don't think that it's, it uses that much electricity, but then again, I don't know. They're both the energy efficient kinds, but the two of you honestly don't use that much power. But one month after they raised the rates, it jumped up by $37, which is a lot. So now just turn off anything you can if you're not actively using it. Mm. I mean, that's that's understandable. I leave my PC on <laughs> every day. <laughs> uh, before I go to bed. I don't know if this is the one, but I'm gonna say it anyway. No. <laughs> Hmm. You see that statue with the sunglasses? That's that one's the real deal. Okay. The thing is, you have the popcorn. Okay, so you're the one who is suspicious. I get it. <clears throat> okay, fine. I'm just dumb. I'm not, <laughs> not paying close enough attention. It's a carving of a hero holding a round shield. This hero fought with nothing but the shield. Uh, growing up, your dad always had you turn everything off, so that's always been a habit. But then, when your electric bill hit a new high of 237, which you sure some folk would consider not that bad. Mm. I mean, I grew up with that as well, but I turned everything off. But then, uh, I think it was after I was with my ex that I started leaving my PC on because. He made a habit out of that, and then I made a habit out of that, and then it's just... I used to always turn it off before, but now I don't. <laughs> you get so surprised how much life costs depending on where one lives. Mm. I got my electricity bill uh, for this past month today. And I think it's around 140 or something do dollars. Two hundred and thirty seven will be like a quarter of your salary. Hmm. Some of your other habits have faded out now that you get to pay the bills, but that one's stuck. Hmm. But it's a good thing though. It's a good thing. <coughs> But it's one of the statues. I don't get it. I don't get it which one it's supposed to be. I mean, we can just try. Okay, that's the one. <laughs> um... That was one bag of popcorn too many. Excellent work, detective. 
We rounded them all up. Let's go speak with the museum curator. Of course. We'll do what? <coughs> I like her coat and her shoes. This month you have to pay eight? How is that possible? How is that possible? That's nothing. Hmm. The damage makes it impossible to be sure, but this is... <coughs> Believed to be a diagram of some fruits. That's less than a yummy burrito you want to pay eight? Me too. Me too. Tell the truth. Tell us where the mural is. We don't know nothing. <laughs> As it would tell you how we hit it. Wait, what? What? I didn't get to read it. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know nothing. Sure you don't. If it isn't the detective, you've arrived at the perfect time. Thanks to you, we got all the culprits in custody. However, we still don't know where the mural is. You had to find it. I can try. I can try. <laughs> Post Soviet country slave, you get cheap ass electricity and utilities, but other stuff? Hmm. I get it. I get it. Yeah, electricity became really expensive here after the Ukraine and Russian stuff going on. <clears throat> then it just got really expensive. I mean, it wasn't cheap before, but it got noticeably uh, more expensive. Mm. Let's see. The thieves refuse to give us more info, um, no matter what I do. Hmm. Now that the thieves have been captured, we're letting folks through this side door again. I knew this case wasn't closed yet. Let's hunt for, the, for clues and figure out where the mural is. You know, whenever I'm stumped on a case, I find that fresh air is great for clearing my head. Okay, so you're telling me to go outside and touch some grass. I get it. I get it. The mural is pretty big. I doubt they have been able to fit through this door. Well, I was told to go outside and touch grass, so you know. <coughs> There's no way the mural could, uh, would fit through the air duct. It's way too big. I know, I know. Hey, Hiroim, how you doing? Thank you. Um, For such a relatively big price of electricity, how's the quality of the network? Like, do you get blackouts often or do they do good maintenance? I... I think the last time there was a blackout was probably, well, a long time ago. <laughs> it does not happen often, no. Um, it doesn't happen often. Oh, the window. That window is a little too high up for us to reach on our own. I bet we could reach it with a stepping stool. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, electricity is pretty good here. I mean, we also produce our... The, the stupid thing is we produce our own 
uh, electricity, but then we export it to make money. And then we have to pay extra, well, a whole lot extra. And it's just so stupid. Like, electri electricity here, the way it works is just so dumb. Huh? I can go back to the back uh, back room now. Yeah, go 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 see the mummies. And then I can take the chair. If we stand on this stool, we may be able to examine the window. To the window. Let's try opening the window. Let's do it. <clears throat> Is it just behind the... What? There's something written on the wall where the mural was hanging before. Ah, uh, okay, okay. We just went looking for a mural that was never stolen to begin with. It was just hidden behind curtains. Jesus Christ game. Oh no, I was sure the plan was foolproof. <laughs> what plan? What was the plan here? We didn't need to move it. We did it. Watching you unravel this mystery was truly inspiring. You are a new great detective. Ugh. And now the case is really closed. I guess uh, they're very easily impressed. I am. <clears throat> case closed. Yeah, case closed. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, that was silly. Um, yours is fairly stable, but you have the issue there of improper maintenance contributing to wildfires. Hmm. Staff doesn't seem- no. <laughs> uh, does my head hurt? Wait, what do you mean? No, no. I mean, I, I had a migraine one before I went to bed. But I don't have a migraine now. Oh no, I'm probably just fidgeting. I'm not- I don't even know- notice that I do things. <laughs> um... But that's nice of you to ask. No, but I- um, for now I'm doing okay. I'm just a little bit tired today. Um, so I feel like when I talk now... Um, I'm struggling to, to actually have things to say because I'm like- It's like my brain can't really think of anything to say. <laughs> So, I'm, I'm a little bit slow. Let's go. I'm a little slow today. It's like, my brain doesn't know how to stream anything but Baldur's Gate 3 now, because... Uh... <laughs> uh, it was like that when I played uh, Hollow Knight on Friday as well. It just made me more tired. It's like, it's like, uh, Baldur's Gate gives me more energy for some reason. I don't know what it is. It just, it just boosts me up. It, it gives me a boost. And then everything else makes me tired. <laughs> um, and the light can be bright sometimes in the game. Yeah. The game isn't as rich for detail as a bo Yeah, that's true. But then again, you hear Rod say the opposite, that he gets tired from play playing Baldur's Gate 3 because it's overwhelming and and uh, exhausting with all the um, decision-making and stuff and uh, having to think so much. Like, tactical thinking. But for me, it's, it's the opposite. I don't know. It just gives me more energy. <laughs> It's like I crave more uh, 
work for my brain to actually get more energy. I don't know what it- I don't know. It probably doesn't even make sense. I like this though. This is pretty. <clears throat> but we are going to continue playing more uh, Baldur's Gate 3 tomorrow. Uh, and I'm starting to get so many... Uh, TikToks now. No, well, I mean, I have been for a couple of weeks, I guess, but it's just... Now it's a lot of dirge stuff, so I'm trying really hard to not get spoiled. Because apparently it's very popular to um, romance a starion while playing as a dirge, and then I just want to not get spoiled. <laughs> so it's it's difficult for me to avoid spoilers now, but I'm trying really hard. I'm trying really hard. It's like my um, my for you page just knows that I'm also doing dirge. How, how are you supposed to get to the venue? <clears throat> I don't know. Performance is a disaster. You wouldn't date men, but you would let Augustus Waters take you on a date that would lead to traveling to Amsterdam still reading. <laughs> Amsterdam. That's probably my favorite uh, capital that I've ever been to. I've been there twice. I, I love going there. Because it feels like a capital that isn't like... It doesn't feel like a capital because it feels kind of small and in intimate in a way. At least certain parts of the, the city. You date an uh, any man that would <laughs> take you traveling to Amsterdam. It's a very, very nice city. I miss it. I miss it. I spent my birthday there uh, once. We were on a road trip um, when, yeah. well, the the two times that I've been there has been, well, the first time was when my dad and my my stepmom were getting married, and my dad was terrified of flying, so we had to drive there. Um, so we drove from Norway to <laughs> to Amsterdam. Uh, well, I mean, they they got. Married in, in Den Haag. Uh, and then... So that's how we went there the first time. And uh, the second time, we also went on a road trip to Spain. And then... Seeing as it was... my I would have my birthday uh, during our trip. And I liked it so much in Amsterdam that when I was there the first time. That... We would stop by 
the city there uh, on my birthday when we were headed home. So it's been uh, quite a while since I was there. I always wanted to be a figure skater when I was a kid. Or a... What, what do you call it? Gym gymnasist? Gymna... Gym... Gym... Gymnast? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what... We have a different word in Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> what was it that I was gonna do? Line up with one of the markers on the ice, then put on a dazzling display with B or A. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Um... Have you ever been to... I don't even know what it says. <laughs> so no, I, I I don't think I've been there. Uh, it's like a smaller Amsterdam with less tourists. Hmm. We lived there for three months. It was great. Oh. That sounds cool. You would love to go to Amsterdam mostly because you would love to walk it and take pictures. You love walking so much. It's a really pretty city. I I really enjoyed it. What's the word? Um, well, we call it tuning, uh, or or well, 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 you know when you you when you doing gymnastics, you know, with the and also like with the you no, know, they had either like a ball or like a ribbon and stuff as well. Some of them, but that that is a whole different thing, though. <laughs> I used to watch stuff like that on TV as a kid. I don't know why. So I was, um... I did gymnastics uh, for about two and a half years because I really wanted to uh, learn how to be like that <laughs> as well. For someone who isn't athletic at all, I did a lot of uh, physical stuff like that as a kid. Oh, I'm, I have to make them follow me, I see. Sparkling spin and jump celebration. No, I didn't make it in time. We got a two for. Oh, damn. Well, that's unfortunate. Also, I didn't know I had a timer. I didn't know I was timed. Oh, 
Oh no. Mm. We're gonna have a dance off now. <laughs> oh, I see. <clears throat> he was volleyball, loved playing it so much as a teen, even when you haven't been an athletic person yourself, but felt nice. Hmm. Yeah, I... I played football, like actual football, not soccer. No, just kidding. <laughs> well, you get uh, Americans would call it soccer, but I hate it. I hate it when people call it football soccer. It's just it's it's stupid. Stop it. Yeah, I played that and I played a little bit of handball, I think. Not for too long. And I was uh I went to swimming as well. And, uh, did gymnastics. No, I pressed the wrong one. What else? I know there were other things as well. Oh, and I've also been doing some archery as well. That was probably the most recent thing that I did. That sounds like an athletic person. <laughs> well, it just, I wasn't... It's called ADHD. <laughs> it's called ADHD, <laughs> pretty much, because I, I wanted to do everything. Uh, and I didn't- I couldn't really stick with one thing. Because I did- I wanted to do it, all of it. So I, I couldn't stick with anything for too long. Ah, uh, I missed something. Oh, I thought that I could smash the... thing. to jump. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, what about the mandatory three year of cross-country skiing Norwegians need to do it? <laughs> I never did any skiing. Uh, because my mom was forced to ski as a kid with her parents, so she never took us skiing. Because she hated it. So we never did that. Oh, and I was also in the uh, a scout. And I went to um, art classes as well. That was probably what I did for the longest. Uh, it wasn't super helpful though. It was just because I loved drawing, but it, it I didn't actually learn anything. But we got to use a lot of different tools that I wouldn't have been able to do at home. Brilliant. Even though you live in a on a little island, you don't know how to swim. It's one of the things you want to do. Also, archery sounds amazing. It's been piquing your interest here and there for like a year, almost two years now. It's, uh, it's cool. It was just a bit repetitive for me, so I didn't want to stick with it. Um, but it is fun. But yeah, you should... Learning how to swim is probably... I mean, it's useful for everyone. So it's like... You have several reasons to do it. It's also because you will make good use of it. Well, if you have interest in it, at least.
How dare I? <clears throat> Seems like a skill issue, my dude. Oh. <laughs> I still have my uh, gymnastics... Uh, like, my... What do you call it? Like a... Leotard, I guess. So I still have that. It's a really, it was, it was a really pretty turquoise uh, colored one. <laughs> for some reason, you can't float. Well, it's probably because you get really tense and relaxing can be a bit hard for you. Yeah, you should be able to float. Um, so it might be because you just don't feel um, safe, relaxing, doing it. Got another balls? Another bowels? <clears throat> oh, I have 52. Okay, there's no issue then. This is what lessons are for, a pro that reassures you and tells you what to do. True, otherwise you could just figure it out on your own. But that would also be not very safe. <laughs> Especially when it comes to something like swimming. Uh... I grew up uh, near the ocean. So I always... Um... Well... We just learned... At home, like from our parents and stuff, most of us. And we also had swimming lessons in school as well, as um, <gasps> like sometimes they they split between PE and swimming. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the scared little rodents who have been scurrying to and fro about my theater. So what do you think of my productions? Have you been enjoying my terrifying show? Hmm. Huh. I'll answer that later. A little bird told me that you two have been kicking up some dust. Huh. I also heard you managed to save a sparkler I went to great pains to imprison. <laughs> Your efforts are adorable, but saving one puny sparklet doesn't change anything. <laughs> Fang, entertain our pesky guests, will you? I'd like to review their performance. It's a snake! It's a light thing. <laughs> This is giving me, uh... This is giving me, um... It takes two vibes now. Anything for beginners is starts with learning how to do the plank and float. Mm. Like for climbing, you first had to let yourself fall, literally make the fear go away because you survive thanks to the rope. And without fear of falling, you are able to control better when it happens and be safer. Hmm. That's a good point. 
I don't know how people actually learn how to swim because I I think I've been swimming since before I actually remember to that I learned how to do it. So it's hard for me to say. I also think that I learned how to swim underwater as well, around the same time. Ah! using that. This game is glitching quickly. <laughs> but I can't all spend nine months underwater, though. True, that is true. Yeah, so a lot of people take their kids' baby swimming, as they call it here. Uh. Rude! Oh, fuck. I didn't know that would happen. actually died before in the game. Have I? I have to start over? Well, not from the beginning, but... I wasn't too far back. I don't- I don't- 
Do I have to go back down here to use that? I don't know. I don't have time. Like, I'm trying to do things in order, but... Oh, no, 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 I get it now. I think. No, I don't. No, I, I don't I don't understand how I'm supposed to be able to do that in time. Or I could just do that, I guess. <laughs> Never mind. I'm, I'm slow today, okay? I'm slow today. It happens. <clears throat> but we did it. We did it. So Grape is the one responsible for all the trouble in our beautiful theater. I mean, didn't you know that before? I thought that was known from the beginning. She and her motley bunch are ruining our place. I won't stand for this. We can't allow them to do whatever they want to our beloved theater. Let's restore the rest of the place as quickly as we can. The brain struggle is real. It is, it is. And your glasses are dusty as um, mine too. I think I cleaned them yesterday, but they're still kind of weird. And I'm kind of not clean. <laughs> You're slow every day, it's okay. I feel that. I feel that. Hmm. Wait. I want to see what the dress will look like now, because we probably got something from the snake. They get dusty so fast. Yeah. One of my absolute least favorite things about having glasses is that I... If I end up touching them, and they get fingerprints on them, and I just want to scream. <laughs> it makes me so mad. Hey, it's green! <gasps> We're gonna switch. Yes. I, it's, it's ugly, yes. but it's green. <laughs> like, the pattern is not nice, but it's, it's green, so I'll take it. Order new lenses for your glasses on Thursday, and they told you it might take up to 10 business days to get it done. Hmm. You've been wearing your old glasses since then, and it's just torture. Yeah. Like, I have contacts as well, but it's... I don't really use them often because... I don't know, I just feel like it's more comfortable. It's more straining on my eyes to use contacts. Especially if I stream. Your contacts don't help much with the stigmatism if you're at the desk all day. Yeah, that too. And I even have contacts for astigmatism, but it's just not good enough, I guess. I don't know. It's yeah, it's a little bit more straining, so I don't feel like using them in front of a PC. It's mostly like during summer if I'm outside and I need to wear uh sunglasses or something instead <laughs> that it can be very useful. 
Or if you're just like outside and you're sweating a lot, then it just it's gross to wear glasses <laughs> in comparison. Have you heard more horror stories about contacts than about glasses? Hmm. It is story, yeah. Showtime. It's annoying. And I also feel less confident wearing contacts as well. I don't know why. I feel like my eyes get so much smaller when I'm not wearing glasses, or like, they're not, but it's just... It's like the frame around the eyes just... does something to your face. And I feel like, I, I feel naked if I'm not using glasses. So I, I feel exposed, in a way. Which sucks, because you got the contacts, so you could wear them streaming because glasses glare, and then you put them in and it was not gonna work. Yeah, I used to wear contacts much more often during stream. And of course, the one time... Probably almost this entire year that I've been wearing contacts was the day that I got raided by Neil. <laughs> and I felt so little, like, I did not feel confident at all because I had huge bags under my eyes that day. And of course, that was the day that I decided to wear contacts. And it's been bothering me so much. Every time I look at the clip, I'm like, oh, why did I wear it? Why did I wear contacts that day? I should not have done that. I've been kicking myself over that so often. You have no idea. Wait. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot to move. Oh, no. I moved too much now. I will never get used to the controls on the, on the Switch. It's always going to be a struggle. I didn't mean to jump on you, okay? See, it's <laughs> mix up all the controls all the time. <laughs> No! I want to- I want to start over. <laughs> I want to start over. <laughs> um... <laughs> I look good- no, I- 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 I don't feel like I do. <laughs> uh... But thank you gotten so used to your face with the glasses then when you take them off it seems like the skin under your eyes have, has thin a lot and looks terrible now i feel that too i feel that too i mean now i don't use well i don't have a lot of makeup on or anything today i just have some mascara that's pretty much it and some foundation but it's just i just feel like my eyes get so small when i'm not wearing glasses it's so weird I feel like our perception gets distorted over time. Every time you see yourself without glasses, it feels wrong. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I need to restart because I... I, I yeah, we, we need to do that. We need, we need to. <laughs> I missed some important stuff here, okay? I think my favorite so far has been the ninja. The ninja level. I like that. <clears throat> it doesn't look that way, but you feel the same with your eyes when you take your yours off too. Yeah, because they feel like they're a part of your eyes now. So it's like a huge part of your face is just gone. <laughs>
And now I need to remember to use the right controls because I am terrible at doing that. Oh shit, I didn't know we had an ad break. Glasses became, became an extension of yourself, like hair in a way? Yeah, kind of. I didn't start using glasses until I was, um, well, in sixth, uh, sixth grade, I think. But it was always just reading glasses then. Oh, damn. Well, this is confusing. <clears throat> yeah, we can stop the train. <gasps> Hello. Wait. There we go. I got the collectible. Stop it. Stop hitting the stupid... I have one shot now. not aiming. <laughs> Ow! Well, worth it, I guess. It's my horse. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. <laughs> you were forced to wear glasses from when you were 12 to 17 years, although in the end you did not need them. Wait, really? But why do you, why are you forced to, to wear them if you didn't need them? No. There we go. 
Oh, I see now. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> I, keep, I keep not paying attention. Um, You got yours in seventh grade, but didn't have to wear them regularly until, like, mid-thirties, so it was more recent than you had to adapt to them being part of you, and now it's weird to not wear them. Mm. I think I had to start wearing them regularly when I was... Either in my very late teens, or... At least, I think it was like, very early on, after I became an adult. <laughs> no, shut up! Going down with me. I don't think so, my dude. I missed two. Oh no. <laughs> well, shucks. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's so kind of kind of cringy, a little bit. <laughs> By the time you were a young adult, you were so used to it. I felt naked without it, so it was hard to stop. Hmm. Now you have glasses without correction that you wear when you need to focus. It's your placebo effect. <laughs> uh, this reminds you of an episode of the IT crowd when they're making a plan, so he puts on his slightly larger glasses. I forgot about- oh, I- uh, the IT crowd is so funny though. It's been a while since I watched it, but I, it's funny. You had a very minor myopia, and the doctor prescribed the glasses and said you could wear them whenever you read or did computer stuff. Your parents, who both had very strong corrections, were convinced that you had to wear them all the time to heal your eyes. But if your doc- did they just believe themselves over your doctor? What? what? I, I don't know. <clears throat> oh, my brother, he, he he always made fun of me when I had to, like, put my glasses on because I, I always actually did the whole, like, well, actually, you know, but I didn't actually, I didn't say it, but I, like, I always did that motion when I tried to put my glasses in place. So that made me very self-aware. So now I, like, I, I try to correct them by doing it on the side instead. <laughs> uh Mm. They misinterpreted and you were too young to have your own opinion. You did... You did know? Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <clears throat> I think this is the last level we're gonna do today, though. think in the end you were the glasses plus braces kid for nothing mm. oh that was me too well reading glasses and braces i was one of the first kids in my class who got braces
Peach time. <laughs> Did she just say peach time? <laughs> huh? Being abducted. Gotta hurry. <gasps> We're in space. I thought I did that already, but it didn't work. If you had to use glasses, you'd be doing the, well, actually thing for fun so much. <laughs> she also dresses- she does! <laughs> I actually never noticed that. <laughs> Be sad. Will I die if I jump down here? Probably. <laughs> you do it almost every day. <laughs> uh, I hate that I'm actually. I'm, I'm actually. And, and, well, actually type of person. Sometimes I need to stop myself before it happens. I don't want to be that person. Are we going to be an astronaut now? You're a hero. I thank you. I mean, there's a lot of, there are a lot of people who use uh, glasses just for the aesthetics, even though they don't actually need them. It's especially common in, in um, East Asia. Hey, Gobi! How you doing, Gobi? <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Something special, huh? Does he have a... Is that his hair? Or is that like a... Grey... Garlic on his head? <laughs> you have used fake glasses when giving it to you, but people start calling you professor and you don't know how you feel about it because you suck at teaching. Uh, I think... Well, maybe you just look like a professor. <laughs> But you good? How's the peachy? It's going okay. It's going okay. I'm just... I'm just a bit tired today. That's a dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Dumpling. You'd ask who wears garlic on their head, but it's a Mario game. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Mighty Peach. Super. 
So she's a superhero. She, she's not an astronaut. I see how it is. Okay. She even did the superhero landing, even though she wasn't, like, actually landing. <laughs> oh, she's super strong. How will I make it? No, shit, I wasn't gonna use that on you guys. <laughs> People used to say you had professor vibes, especially since you always carried a book in your hand. A backpack, you love backpacks. Yeah, so maybe you just, uh... Enhancing that. While, uh, wearing glasses, you know? Maybe that's just who you're meant to be. Become the presser- uh, pr presser, by the way. Professor. You're meant to be all alone. You know? I don't know. Why did you charge into that? Ah, I see. Come here. jumping when I need to like throw the thing because I I can never get used to the controls on the switch I'm used to the exact opposite like jump is the bottom one you know it's not the one to the to, 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 to the right and I know I can remap it but then it's confusing in a different way no. I did actually remap it before I started playing Tears of the Kingdom. But then Tears of the Kingdom became confusing because of the tutorial. The t -t 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 tutorial. Money. Embracing the professor vibes it is then. Do it. Do it. That's not very Nintendo, the con uh, controls. Isn't it? Don't they always want to be special? You wish you got money? Honestly, same. I need to go and get food, uh, like groceries, tomorrow. And I don't want to spend money. Oh no. They're abdu abducting my friends. Hop on the lift. <clears throat> you got your visa medical exam tomorrow? Oh. Well, I hope it goes well. 
hope it goes well. Oh, shit. Which one I missed, but then again, sometimes they're difficult to see. What? What did I miss? Okay, yeah, that's what kind of what I figured that I probably needed to use a counter. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh no, I got hit. What am I supposed to do? Oh. <laughs> I missed two. Oh no. Alien Invasion. Got 69 months to live? <gasps> I, I do? Oh no, Gobi. You have to go to London for a 45 minute appointment? That is so annoying. Hope they don't find out that you got exploding butt disease or something. <laughs> Is it fatal? <laughs> hmm. Well, I did say that that would be the last level we did today, though. It seems like we might be able to finish it next time. No, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just- I'm just tired, honestly. <laughs> I don't know why, but every game just makes me more tired now. <laughs> it was like that when I was playing uh, Hollow Knight on Friday as well. So I think we're gonna I think we're gonna wrap up here. I'm gonna be back again tomorrow though. We're gonna be playing some how no not Hollow Knight. We're gonna be playing some uh, some uh, some uh, mm, Baldur's Gate three, which makes me feel a little bit more awake because <laughs> no other game is. It's true. It's true. I I feel like I can't call myself a variety streamer anymore. It's just Hall. Uh, why do I keep wanting to say Hollow Knight? It's just. It's just Baldur's Gate now. I, I can't- I don't know why. It just- it just is. <laughs> the complete variety of Baldur's Gate 3. It's true. It's true. <laughs> uh, but it's just- everything kind of just uh, pales in comparison. Kales in comparison. You know? I don't know. That doesn't mean that I don't enjoy it, though. 
I still enjoy this, and I also do enjoy Hollow Knight. Um, which we might do that on Friday, like we did this last Friday, that we split it in half. So, like, start the stream off with uh, Hollow Knight and then end with Baldur's Gate 3. But tomorrow it's only going to be Baldur's Gate 3. And we're doing the Dar Dark Urge playthrough, so... It's going to be fun. And we're at the goblin camp. No, we're going to go and see the Gur tomorrow. And then we're going to... I might be... Um, it, it's going to be painful, though, because I... I decided that maybe... Well, if I'm going to side with the goblins, it's going to be now or never. Because we're going to give in to the Dark Urge. So I'm like, ah, I should probably side with the goblins then to just go all out. But then... I have heard that if you do that, both Will and... And Halson will not be in your camp. And you're going to have to do a really high roll for Gale to be uh, in, in, in your party. And that's why I'm, I haven't recruited Karlak yet. I haven't gone to see her because I wanted to wait until after the Grove. And all that stuff, in case she would just leave anyway. <laughs> if, I, if I go and get her. Uh, so, and I also want to have Minthara. I mean, I know I can get her in a different way as well. You are a variety streamer, you play Baldur's Gate in a variety of ways. That is true. <laughs> that is true. You like fun? I like fun too. <laughs> We're gonna balder some gates. We are. We are. Indeed we are. Not sure they are like Pokemons, you can't have them all. <sighs> but I I want all. I I uh... I want all. I will get what I want. No, <laughs> but no, at least in this in this um, playthrough, I have said that I will be um, that I will be. Um, I don't. I don't mind reloading. I don't mind reloading. Hold on. I just need to... Switch over so I get my, uh... My second monitor. <laughs> <clears throat> but we'll see, though. I don't know if it's gonna work. If I can actually get Karlac, uh... If I wait until after. Maybe she won't join anyway. But I've heard that also Jahira won't join your party. Uh, at all. You don't get the option to do it uh, if you side with the goblins. <laughs> so, uh, no Will, no Halson, no Jahira, and possibly no Karlak or Gale. So, uh, it's gonna be rough. We might have to hire, uh, d uh, get some hirelings or something. <laughs> Which is gonna be bad. Well, we, we still have Lazelle, though, and Shadow Hearts. But I'm. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Get what I want. Sounds like something someone who came to the Dark Earth would say. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Um, but yeah, I, I just figured if we're gonna do... If we're gonna give in to the Dark Earth, I might as well just go all in, you know? Uh, in, in the Dark Earth stuff, I mean. I don't mean doing everything evil. Because I can't do that. I, I can't. It's too painful. Like, I... Yeah. You're not sure about Jahir not joining you? I did hear that from someone. But I, I don't know if that's true, though. I mean, I don't know anything. I, I can only... I also try really hard to stay away from spoilers, but I... It's difficult now, because all I get on my For You page is just... Baldur's Gate 3 stuff. And most of it is Dark Urge related stuff as well. And I try really hard to stay away from it. Uh, but I don't always know that, oh no, oh, it's this, this seems not familiar. And then it's, oh no, and someone says in the comments, this is Dark Urge stuff. <gasps> Shit, okay. 
and then... <laughs> but luckily, I, I, it hasn't been too, too, too much. Mostly just dialogue, yeah, stuff. Certain responses and, and things like that. This is why TikTok is bad for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. TikTok is the dark urge. Well, if you saw my For You page, you... <laughs> um, TikTok is fine. How else would you find out about top 10 trees? Wait, have you seen that TikTok about top 10 most metal trees? That one was funny. Someone had ranked the most metal of all trees. I like that. That was funny. <laughs> you have not, but it sounds great. Mm. I don't remember... Uh, it, it was a while ago, though. Otherwise, I could have found it again, but it was it was too long ago. <laughs> but it was really funny. It was really funny. <laughs> but yeah, so we we we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff tomorrow. I'm just really curious about how things will go if you go to the goblin camp, and this is the only way that I will know if I'm gonna do it myself. And I also want to get the achievement for um, making sure that. Uh, Saza, you know, the, the goblin that you rescue at the grove. You get an achievement if you, she stays alive in, like, at the grove and at um, the goblin camp and at Moonrise Towers. So you get an achievement if you let her stay alive. So this is also a good opportunity to be able to do that because I'm trying to get 100% of the achievements. So I have to do the, this at some point anyway. Uh, there's a Scottish guy that rates the top 10 of the most normal objects. <laughs> uh, what other things has he uh, rated? Can you recommend a podcast about cheese? Sure, sure, go ahead. You listen to it all the time. A butt cast about butts. <laughs> Completely arbitrary, no, but it, it's go go ahead, go ahead. I don't really listen to podcasts personally, but I'm sure other people here uh, do. I wish that I did though, but I, it's just I don't know where I would start. I don't know what I would want to listen to. Every time I try, it's like, yeah, I don't know. You want to listen about butt too? <laughs> maybe, maybe this Scottish guy has rated a top 10 uh, uh, most normal butts. I don't know. <laughs> Are you start with the one about trees or the one about butts? Hmm. I could. Two guys talking about different trees. One of them is like an urban planner. Dendrologist, pretty fun stuff. Hmm. <laughs> What's the name of the Scottish guy? His name is Chris. Th that one Scottish guy, at least, that is in chat. <clears throat> uh. But it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. And I'm gonna try not to um, be as slow when it comes to um, progressing in this playthrough because I don't have to. I don't have to loot everything, not everything. And I should also, I should also make more use of uh, partial rests so I can get more cutscenes and stuff. Because I feel like I've already missed out on something. And in Dark Urge, there's just so much more uh, that you can miss out on, it seems. Because it combines the regular cutscenes as well, so you get more content. Um, 
and I would hate to miss out on stuff. <laughs> and uh, I also have the other uh, the 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 vods uploaded to YouTube. I just haven't published them yet because I need to make um, I need to just sit down and make some some thumbnails, and I haven't done that yet. But nowadays, I started today. I started uploading uh, clips from um, the epilogue of my first playthrough. So uh, that's what I'm going to be posting uh, these next few days. Some epilogue stuff. Uh, there's going to be some crying, too. <laughs> there's going to be some crying, too. And yeah, if you haven't, if you haven't followed uh, my socials, oh, there it is. The link will, will take you to all kinds of stuff. My TikTok, my Twitter, my YouTube, my Instagram, my... I don't think it has a Discord anymore because I didn't want it to be public everywhere. Um, But here's the Discord as well. And there's the Discord as well. <clears throat> Rest is important after all. It's true. It's true. But it's just weird because I never stream for this short of a time. Uh, but I do have work tomorrow. That's why I didn't <laughs> didn't want to stream Baldur's Gate three today because I wouldn't be able to stop uh, as early. It's just too addictive. Scottish top ten guy. <laughs> Uh, also, the, the some something really cool is that my not the clip that I posted today, but the clip that I posted before that on well everywhere, but specifically the one on YouTube has gotten over ten thousand views. <laughs> And that is so wild. It's like that's the most views I have ever gotten on a on a on a clip on on YouTube. Well, uh, a short, a short. I mean, uh, yeah, it's ten k. <laughs> I don't know how many seconds was it. I, um, I think it's just like ten seconds or something. So it's probably because the 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 stats say average view time watched and the view time is like uh 109% so people have also rewatched it <laughs> because it's so short <laughs> 10k is so much it is it is a lot it is a lot for me at least and it it's only a few days old as well uh i posted it on the like three days ago, because I haven't posted anything in, in like two days. Um, wait, I think it was like yesterday or something or th the day before that I saw that it hit like 10k. So that's pretty wild. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I tried to post every single day clips from stream and stuff. So if, if people have anything, I mean, I know it's been kind of dead uh, on my stream lately um, with my energy and stuff. Um, but anything that is like funny or entertaining in any way, I don't think people realize how helpful it is when 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 you make clips. Like it's really really helpful to me um, because then first of all I know what you guys find entertaining, and second of all. It also helps me to be able to make content for other platforms that will also bring people into this uh, platform. So it is very, very, very helpful, very useful. What are you doing, Sarah? You're streaming. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't snipe other people's stream. Those kinds of unethical illegalities are only done by criminals. Like me, Patches, the greatest criminal AIAA pushed off a cliff, dang it. Says the one who is stream sniping just now. 
<laughs> um. Well, thank you for that, Sarah. Thank you for that. And he's also in, a in the middle of a cutscene that is like super important to the story. What is he doing? <laughs> we are gonna raid Sarah though. We are gonna raid Sarah because he's playing Baldur's Gate 3 and he's uh, he is doing Will's quest and I think he's, uh, he's just finished it or close to finishing it. So he's getting very close to the end. You can make clips? Yeah. Have you have you seen that? So when you when you look at the when you hover over the screen, you see like the cogwheel, and then you see captions. I think you should be able to see captions as well. And then there's the the symbol that is next to that that says clip. And then you can make clips that are up to one minute long. So as soon as something funny happens or something, you can just click on the clip thing, and then you can. Kind of adjust how long you want it to be and where you want it to start and where you want it to end um so it's it's very helpful and that's when we also have a clips channel in the discord so people can post the clips there so they other people can see them but also uh so it's easier for me to find them as well but yeah it's very useful so like i think people sometimes get a little bit too hung up on <clears throat> or not hung up but like some people get more concerned about oh i wish i could um support more in a stream because they like they see people gift subs and stuff like i wish that i had the money to do that and stuff that's not all the the, the only way that people can support you in in as a streamer it's also super helpful when you clip and uh and also even just recommend your stream to other people, or, you know, I'll, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Or just lurk. Just lurking as well, even if you can't be there. So many different ways. And it is all really, really important. Um, especially when you want to kind of try to grow a little bit as a, as a streamer as well. Which I definitely want to. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, I want my stream to grow more and more. That's why I'm posting content on so many many other platforms as well. Not because I really care about the, uh, like, TikTok uh, as a platform to, to grow on. All of it is to bring more people into this stream. Because this is my main space that I use. Uh, so I, I mainly just use all the other platforms to bring more people to my stream. Um, so, everything is, is, uh, is helpful. Any, any little seemingly small thing is super helpful, especially lurking. Uh, so anyone who's lurking, I appreciate you all. It is, it is, it means a lot. But yeah, have a good night, Ender. Um... Uh, we gonna raid Sarufian. We gonna raid Sarufian. Um. Yeah, we gonna raid Sarufian. Let me just start the find the raid button. You know. Oh, he's he's about to decide Will's uh, fate. <laughs> I just, I'm just, I'm just looking because I'm so, I'm so curious about what he's gonna do. Here's the raid message, and here's the raid, second raid me message. The first one is for subs. Uh, I can post it to see what it looks like when uh, you are subbed. There it is. And the second one is if you're not subbed. Um, so I appreciate you all. I appreciate you all. Um. Yeah, we're gonna raid Sarah. We're gonna raid Sarah. Been a comfy place to lurk. Thank you for stream. Hope you have a good rest of the night. Thank you so much for being here, Chris, and for lurking. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful night as well. Hope you all have a wonderful night. And uh, thank you so much for being here. I know I mostly stream Baldur's Gate 3 these, day these days, and some people might not really find that too much fun. 
Uh, so I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. Um, but I will be mostly playing Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> and then try to squeeze in some, some other things here and there. Um, but I'll see you again tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, and here's my schedule. Um, so, uh, hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your Tuesday. Okay, okay. Baldur's Gate 3 is the best. I, I, I think so. <laughs> I think so. But I appreciate that you guys enjoy it too. But if you're not seeing the raid message at the top, you might have to refresh, otherwise you'll be left behind. We're we gonna say hi to Sarah, and I hope you have a good rest of your Tuesday.